Hey guys, welcome back to another, let's see, another map survival thing. Um, this might look familiar, some of you may have seen this before, so I apologize if you have. Um, I had recently, well, I had played through it a while ago with some other friends, but it looks like it's been updated. I'm going to play through it again. Why not? I enjoyed it the first time. This is Plagia Quest. Um, so some of you, again, may have seen this. Now that the dropper is over, I'm just going to do another one until... I haven't checked. Maybe the Tornado... Because Tornado Survival is probably not updated anyways. So, I'll do another Tornado tornado uh, Survival at some point here once things get updated. But I'm just going to see what's this all about. Unbreaking X. Old Childhood Mask. Do not place. Alright. Well, all right. Welcome to Polygia Minecraft Open World RPG. You are free to roam the world, visit distant cities, explore the hidden treasures in the world, complete quests, solve the mystery of the old gods, and do whatever you would like. Rules of Polygia: You may go and do whatever you want. You do not have to complete the main or side quests. You may only dig and build in areas that are not man-made, such as villages, towns, dungeons, ruins, temples, or anything with a sign saying the structure is man-made. You may only rest, craft, and use the furnace in town. Your hmm, that's interesting. Rest, craft, and use furnaces in town. Your house is in the right side of the village near the end. Go get your map and start your adventure. Rule update. Sorry. Do not remove items from dispensers. You may break mob spawners. You may trade with villagers. Shop owning villages have customized trade options and can provide useful items in exchange for emeralds. It is advised that you play on normal difficulty with the brightness around 55% instead of the default. If you see a block like this, it will either set your spawn, activate a secret, or if in a village's home, then pushing it will tell you useful information. You do not have to push any of these buttons. Push the button above to stop mob griefing. Recommended. Push the button above to keep your inventory on death. Push the button above if you're too lazy to walk to your house. Okay, we're going to turn off mob griefing. We're going to set our spawn. So if it's got this in the background, we should push it. Alright, let me make sure our settings are straight. Um, difficulty needs to go on normal. And... Let's see, 50 to 65, so I'll put it on 60. Boom. Um, I think that's it. All right. To keep my inventory on death. Do I want to do that? No, that's too easy. All right, this is a survival series, after all. If you haven't got the hint, I do everything that's dealing with surviving. Like surviving the falls, like surviving this quest thing. Yeah. Plus, I just love the builds of this. The main capital is so amazing. Such inspiration for some of my talents I've built on some servers. Alright, throughout the world, there are signs with items on them. Each sign has a different meaning. Even if mob griefing is turned off, the signs below will still break. If they break, please do not take and or use the items that are dropped when they break. Alright, the anvil sign marks the entrance to a smith's shop. The sword means that weapons are available in the shop. The helmet means that armor is available in the shop. Bed marks the entrance to the inn. A big axe marks the entrance to blacksmith's mines. A pickaxe marks the blacksmith's mine. A sign marks the quest lodge or available quest. An emerald marks all supply shops or trading posts. A nether star indicates that an artifact of the five is nearby. A piece of black wool marks a black market item. Also note that if you find a golden melon, hold on to it. Each town has a black market item. Be sure to not lose any. Another star indicates an artifact of the five. Not sure what that means, but a glistening melon is important. I guess that that means it's a... Yeah. So the mask was just something random, but this is a... Something special. The first town is mostly a tutorial stage. It helps get you familiar with the basic mechanics of the map. If you wish to start the main quest right away, when then start the quest, meet with Lucas and Whitelands. However, if you do this, may be under-equipped for the journey. Your choice. I recommend not skipping the story. Alright, I don't know what the five are. But hopefully we will find that out soon. 
rather exciting entrance to the town. Oh, it looks like we have the quest lodge. Each town supposedly has one. I believe this is our house. Yes. No, oh, John. Yeah, you ever been to the village overgrowth? I got all them houses up there in that tree. Something wild if you hear the doctor river takes you straight there. Thanks, John. That was lovely advice, sir. Alright, quest lodge. Quest! Do the creep. Do the creep. After finishing the quest, drop the quest book into the corresponding shaft to get your reward. Do the creep. Alright. Disposal shaft. Please dispose of any quest or unwanted items here. Oh, that's a fiery pit. Alright. Do the creep. Recently, villagers have been spotting creepers in the surrounding area. The last thing that this village needs are creepers blowing holes in everyone's homes. Kill the creepers in the surround. What? We turned mob spawning, mob griefing off. This isn't even relevant, but whatever. Kill the creepers in the surrounding area and bring back four gunpowder as proof. Your reward will be a wooden hoe, a wooden shovel, one block of TNT, three bottles of experience, and two emeralds. So we need to bring back four gunpowder. Bring back four. Okay, we will do that. Alright, let's I'm gonna go explore all the buildings first before I figure out what the heck's happening here. Supply shop! Yeah. This is much more updated than before. I wonder what this is gonna do. I hear you at adventure now. If you ever need supplies, you know where to find me. Oh, he can give me a stone sword. That would be very helpful. Wow, all sorts of good stuff. Ooh, if I make a... Oh, no, I can't make a cake. That's not gonna happen. Glitch. Okay. Quests! Meat of kings. And chicken dinner. Stop making noises at me, Origin. Exit. There we go. Now I won't make any more noises. Drop in two emeralds for supplies. I don't have two emeralds, so I can't purchase any supplies. This way to the docks, the storage room is locked. Oh, I guess I should read these books. Okay, this is Meat of Kings quest. Pork! It's the Meat of Kings! The village's stores of meat have been running low. These villagers look to me for supplies, but I have a business to run. I don't have time to go out and hunt pigs. Could you do it for me? I only need 15 pork chops, and I would reward you, of course. Two experience bottles, one flint and steel, one wooden pickaxe, and one emerald. Alright, so we gotta go punch some pigs. Chicken, it's what's for dinner. Our stock on chicken has also run low, and I cannot be bothered to go out and kill them as well. I've got a shop to run. If you could just kill ten chickens and bring back their meat, I'd gladly reward you. Alright, I see a chicken over here. But first, this dock leads to the city of Saltwash and Overgrowth Village. They can only be reached by boat. And flip the two farthest levers first, otherwise the boat will crash and break. This will be for a later visit. But I will, I will kill this. Alright, that was one chicken. Where did... Phooey. Alright, well, I saw a pig... Oh, there's a bunch of pigs over here. I guess I could punch some trees, maybe? Waywater Harbor. Okay, that's the name of this town, Waywater Harbor. I guess I shouldn't really focus on the quests until I get some supplies and figure out what the heck is happening in town, because maybe there's some basic supplies. A quest I can do that doesn't involve me getting things or I can do without any supply any supplies two pork chops there we go two of 15 okay let's go see what these people have got to say for themselves there's a quest in here let's go quest below the walking dead oh joy unbreaking I wonder if it's like a sword or something Alright, The Walking Dead. Every night, the groans from the forest grow louder. I can't help but worry that they are becoming more daring, and I don't want to risk them entering the village. If you could kill five of the zombies and bring me their meat as proof, I would feel much safer. A wooden axe. Why is everything wooden? Wooden is dumb. 
Simon, the Hunter's Guild just closed off the islands to the northeast. People are always saying there must be some horrible creature up there or the guilds wouldn't be involved. You heard about that old war general that went mad? Say he took all the belongings and ran off to canyon in the backwoods. That sounds good, I guess. Six quests are available in Waywater Village. Quests can be found in the chest in the villagers' homes. The board tells you how many quests are available. Once you finish a quest, head to the quest slot to turn it in. So it was different than when I played this back, like, 1.1, 1 .1, when it was, like, a sign board. Oh, there's a quest in here, as long as some supplies. My steel ain't as good as the Graveman's, but it'll get the job done. Ah, you provide weapons and stuff. Ooh, we need to go mine some iron. Quest below. Old bones. What's in here? Oh! <gasps> I'm stealing it. I believe this is for us to steal freely. So I hear they can kill those zombies. Okay. Old bones tell no tales. I'm trying to craft some new weapons, but I'm lacking the materials. I would get them myself, but of course, I'm a smith and not a warrior. If you could bring back five bones from the creatures in the forest, I will be able to start crafting again. All right, we will go do such a thing. It's my home. Home, 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 sweet home. Oh, dang! Two emeralds, the family sword, map zero. Let's see if this is a map. Oh, so it is a map. Awesome, I guess. Alright, let's read the rules. Rules of plague in case you've forgotten this map is so immortal. I think you don't want to miss. Oh, this is like the same on that board. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, these are the same as they were on that board. So we're gonna. We don't need to look at that. And we don't need to look at that or that. Actually, I'm gonna take those two emeralds to the shop. Save point, push the button to set your spawn point. Yay! Waywater backwoods this way. So we gotta go kill some stuff here in a minute. Waywater in. Final quest in here in keep. Food. A fellow came by looking for an adventure. I see what you see, and I came out doing with the village lady, and I think you're up to the task. A fellow ran off, but he left the instructions with the chest there. Good luck, kid. Important note off to White Wind. Important note. Please be aware that the quest off to White Wind's village must be turned into the quest lodge in White Wind's village, not at the quest lodge here in Whitewater. That's an interesting note. We don't need that, but we will take this one. Adventure. Okay, well, that one's the final quest. We'll, we'll come back to that one. Rest point. Crafting. Save point. Push button to save your spawn point. Um, no, we actually want to fight stuff because it's night, you know? Okay, so we got to kill five zombies and bring back five bones. Five zombies and five bones. Good enough, I'd say. I see a light. Ooh, what is what is this? Copper tooth number two. Um alright. Slightly strange. I'm assuming this is for later. I will read that book later. Alright, I hear the zombies. Where are the zombies, man? Where are the dang zombies? Where are them zombies at? Whoa, I hear a lot. Aha. Oh. Dang. Alright, one zombie down. I don't like it. I'm coming back up. Screw it. Screw it. Screw it. <laughs> I don't like that at all. here. Nope, I'd rather just go into the, the backwoods and hunt. 
which I think is what I'm going to do. Get up. Um, first I'm going to go in the shop. Drop two emeralds in. Huzzah! 